thank you to Deep Tech uh, uh, for uh, taking the time to uh, allow us to present today, and we look forward to answering your questions. Uh, before we uh, kick off, I, I guess you know the, the theme of today, as we've seen from EAC and, and Spiro, is that you know the theme is around connectivity, and um, you know I think we'd say if you're a smart city or a community or a region or a state, by definition you're connected, right? The definition of uh, you know, uh, of a town is you are sharing and connected by uh, physical assets like power or water or waste or some kinds of systems. And uh, really today we're talking about sort of digital connectivity is kind of the, the, the theme that I, that I think is, is uh, kind of critical here. And uh, if we go to the first slide, we think, you know, what's important or, you know, especially is that as it gets hotter and as we're trying to adapt uh, and adopt new, uh, new clean technologies is really collaboration. Um, uh, Yuval, can we go to the next slide, please? Uh, great. So we see, you know, ultimately, uh, you know, there's often a mismatch there, you know, it's not about resources uh, necessarily. It's often about like matching the resources that any particular town, government, city, building has to, you know, to the assets, uh, you know, to the, to the, you know, to what they need. So, uh, and it's that collaboration is becoming harder and harder, you know, and uh, as, you know, electric vehicles join the grid, as, uh, you know, renewable generations go, join the grid. Um, so the idea of having a, a digital platform where we're able to collaborate makes a lot of sense. I think one of the things that's always been uh, a, an issue is that there's, you know, uh, that digital collaboration require, you know, historically has required sort of sharing of data. It's like, well, I'll be happy to, you know, work with you if you just give me your data, right? And, you know, and, you know, the other party always says, well, I'll be happy to work with you if you share your data, right? And in fact, in many cases, people don't even know who owns the data, right? They may be stewards of it, they may have access, but they don't actually know who, who owns the data. What, we've pro what we provide at BIA is essentially a, a platform for this digital secure collaboration across many, many parties. So if you go to the next slide, please, Yvonne. Um, we provide, uh, the slide before, slide two, please. So we, we provide at VIA uh, this secure platform, which uh, and we have a specific application as a, as a first application where we've, we've developed for building and infrastructure maintenance. We'll give you a little, some screenshots and we'll show you what that looks like and, and talk about some customers in that area. So uh, if you are a building manager or a facilities manager or a city manager, then we're interested in hearing from you. Um, of course, there are way more, if you go to the, the next slide, please, there are way more assets and applications and problems than VIA could ever solve. So part of uh, being a platform is that if there are others who have better algorithms or algorithms for power management or for waste or for, for other, uh, other kinds of security, then you know, our platform allows those, those uh, application developers, model developers and others to participate and use the same platform and provide those you know, on, a, uh, on an easy basis to use. So um, that's a little overview of the, of the platform. You know, why we think it's sort of interesting is, um, uh, you follow if you go to the next slide. Uh, one is, uh, you know, speed matters. So here it's not, we're not transmitting the data. We're doing, you know, there's a bit of a federated model here similar to what you've heard from EAC and Spiro. I think one of the, the things that we've learned is um, whatever data you have, whatever format it's in, it's always in the wrong format for whatever analysis somebody wants to do. So the analytics, the AI is always hard because like the match between, wait, what format is that data in and what you, what, you, know, what you want to analyze and what format you have it in is, is always mismatched. Uh, we take care of, we actually apply our own AI uh, to, to the data sets to be able to, that, that each company or each organization has to be able to transform it uh, into a standardized format that makes it easier to analyze. And, and we've, we have a commercial product that's uh, in the market today and um, uh, in use and, and uh, our customers tell us, uh, tell us it's a hundred times faster than sort of traditional data science approaches, uh, different, uh, programmatic approaches. Uh, next slide, please. Uh, you know, you've heard a little bit about today about sort of a federated model. So this is also a no data transfer model. You know, the best way to keep your data secure and safe and private is like, don't send it to anybody. Don't send it to us. Don't send it to others. Keep it where it is. I think that model is kind of, you know, as you can see, sort of being proven out. Um, and then the, the next thing and the last thing I'd say is sort of as a, um, you've all the next slide, please, that where we think the you know, the other thing is, is security. How do you know that we're any good, right? And um, 
our application, as, as Josh had uh, pointed out, I appreciate you giving us a little shout out. We, we have not only one sort of initial SBIR uh, kind of pieces, we have, a, we have a, uh, an application that's been deployed and uh, we'll give you a little preview of that, but um, we've gone through uh, what's called the continuous ATO process. So uh, our software gets tested by the DOD every 12 hours of every day. <laughs> Uh, for cybersecurity protocols. And then if there's an issue, we have 12 hours to respond and fix it. So we've got this sort of continuous cycle to be able to uh, upgrade and update the security features. That same platform is available to everyone. We, we don't have two separate versions of our software, one for commercial, one for military. We, we use everything that we've done and that we've learned from the, the DOD um, you know, for others as well. Hey, uh, Colin, 30 yeah. second warning. Great, we're almost there. Like, next slide uh, is there's a lot of technology behind that. We do have some issued patents and uh, some new patents we filed. Um, you know, part of that is around automation, around the data ingestion. Part of it is around making sure you can allow whatever kind of analysis you want. And part of it is around the, the security components. Uh, next slide. Uh, we, today I mentioned that we support the US uh, DOD. Uh, for military bases, for example, these are actual screenshots from uh, a little bit disguised, but actual screenshots from an application. We have more than 20 different screens that run that uh, in analytics that can be also customized. Um, just this year alone, we've supported more than $180 million in, in infrastructure analysis that includes roads, runways, buildings, et cetera. And then I think we're on to the last couple of slides here which is we, we work with some of the largest companies in the world. We have customers in number one in, in Europe and number one in New Zealand, uh, some of the leading companies in the, in the US as well. Uh, all of it is infrastructure analysis for those companies. And then uh, you know, our ask today, uh, next slide, is to join us. We're, I don't know if you can use the raise hand function, but I would ask, uh, you know, if you are, uh, we just closed a, a $10 million Series A round. So really we're looking for customers to accelerate the, the growth and, and join our platform. Uh, we have, um, if you are, next slide, if you are uh, 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 a infrastructure manager, a facilities manager, if you oversee uh, maintenance, then we're, we'd love to hear from you about uh, how we could help reduce infrastructure costs, improve health and safety. Uh, next slide. Uh, we have, uh, you know, very easy model in terms of pricing, which we can talk about, but basically we're so confident about the uh, data transformation piece, we basically do that for free, which is often like 80% of any AI project or any kind of uh, an analytics project. And then the last piece is, you know, we, we hope that, you know, whether, you know, if, you're, if you are a manager of some government infrastructure or commercial infrastructure, we hope that you would, you would join us and, you know, as part of collaboration, we're not just doing, you know, collaborating for analytics, we're collaborating for a cleaner, safer, more secure future. So uh, thank you again for, for uh, taking the time to listen today. Wonderful. Opening the floor for questions. I guess I'll, I'll ask one, uh, Colin, <clears throat> You know, interesting platform. Looks like you've got a lot of different constituencies that connect into the platform. Uh, you know, and so I'm just kind of wondering what the sales process looks like. You know, for getting the platform in place and then trying to plug in all these different constituencies. How does that work? So um, it's a good question. I think the. Uh, selling one by one is really hard, uh, which is why generally, uh, and we don't need all of them to join all at once. So in general, um, you know, if you look at whether it's the military or some of our other uh, corporate customers, uh, generally they own a diversity of infrastructure and a lot of assets. So I think combined, there's something like a trillion dollars worth of assets that each, you know, the, that our customers own across, you know, the U.S. and Europe and Western Europe. And um, so basically, we focused on larger customers who have, uh, you know, who own a number of, you know, assets combined and together. So that way, it's a, it's easier for them, um, and it's regionally focused, right? So. Um, it, you know, part of the reason we'd love to hear from Colorado and, and Arizona is if there's an opportunity and, and others, by the way, no state you know, uh, discrimination, but, you know, we, uh, we think, you know, working at a, at a city level, municipal level, uh, you know, allows us to connect to multiple people because there's a combined incentive. They are by definition reliant on each other and want to share and want to work with each other. So, um, you know, if, the, if they're interested in this motive, they're motivated by sort of the, 
cleaner air, cleaner water kind of mission. Thank you. And for one last question, if everybody's got it, go ahead, Harry. Um, no, no specific question, but uh, I, I just wanted to tell you that, uh, yeah, we'll, we will definitely be reaching out. It's an interesting platform that uh, uh, addresses, you know, a need at the local government level. Um, you know, the, our data analytics, especially around the, the building automation um, and uh, public utility side of things um, are, is an ever-present challenge. So. Yeah, and only growing. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's only getting harder. On a, on a 120 degree day, it's like, you know, everybody. Yep. It's 117 today. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know, it's off by three degrees. You know, it's only two and a half percent. <laughs>